Motorola Edge 2021. This is my review. Let's go. How's it going everyone? Welcome to another episode of Sick Eric TV and today I'm going to be doing my review of the new Motorola Edge 2021. This has been an excellent device. If you're able to pick this phone up at $499, that is a hell of a deal. Unfortunately, it's gone back up to $699, which I think it might stay like that for a while. And for that price, I think there are other options that you could get at that price point and give you more features and a more premium build. This is a mid-ranger, so at $499, I think that was a great price when they started off uh, with the Motorola Edge 2021 fantastic in performance this thing has performed pretty well uh, over the i believe it's the month that i've had this device so we're going to go over the specs and my thoughts of this phone and show you some pictures and things like that so let's jump down into it shall we so as far as dimensions go uh 6.65 inches tall 2.98 wide and 0.35 thin and you do have a quite a bit of a camera bump over here so this phone does tend to sit a little lopsided especially if you're on a desk there's a lot of wobble on here so you're going to want to slap a case on this device because it is a huge camera bump and it does make the phone sit a little lopsided on there and a lot of wobble when it's on a flat surface but like i said put a case on it you'll be all right uh, as far as build quality it's held up pretty well i do have several little scratches on here but then again i didn't really have a case on this for the longest time i like using it without a case only when I went out, I'll put a case on it, but it's held up pretty well. The back is made out of plastic. You got Corner Gorilla Glass 3 on the front and going on over to the uh, display. It is a 6.7 inch LCD panel, 144 Hertz and supports HDR 10. You get a resolution of 1080 by 2460 and 401 pixels per inch. So considering the fact that it is an LCD display, uh, I think it's a really nice panel. Uh, there were some issues when it first came out, brightness, flickering, and uh, discoloration of the colors, but all of those seem to have been fixed in the latest update, so no more issues with the brightness on this device anymore, so that is great that we were able to get a dis uh, update to fix the, those issues, so no issues whatsoever. There are quite a bit of bezel going around there and a little bit of a chin down here as well but like i said that is because it's an lcd panel hole punch a little bit larger than most devices and uh but really not that big of a deal on here still a great panel and uh, excellent to watch movies on and brightness it does uh, get bright enough outdoors it could be a little bit brighter going on over to the uh, performance side you got android 11 out of the box and you get a lot of moto features on here as far as gestures go the classic karate chop for the flashlight and then the uh, twist for the camera and twist it again to switch cameras as well so very nice a lot of motorola gestures they do tend to do a good job with all their gestures on here you also get your peak display on the uh, edge as well no always on display unfortunately because it is an LCD panel, but still you get all your notifications and you could just long press on your notifications. It'll give you a little preview and you could reply and things like that. Fingerprint sensor over here, pretty quick and reliable. Uh, you do get facial recognition as well. And that is reliable and fast. As you can see right there, boom, facial recognition works fantastic. Snapdragon 778 processor. Uh, it is 5G and this processor is pretty good. It's an upgrade from the 765 of last year. Uh, you do get a uh, GPU is going to be an Adreno 642, eight gigabytes of RAM, 256 storage, which is fantastic. No micro SD card, unfortunately. I believe the one from last year had micro SD card. It also had a headphone jack. You will not find those on this device. So a bit of a downgrade from last year's Moto Edge and the display as well flat no curves on the edge on this year and this is an lcd compared to last year's oled or uh, amoled display from last year's motorola edge cameras on here have been pretty good uh really nice cameras they actually surprised me uh, on this device your main sensor is going to be a 108 megapixel sensor guys 
aperture of f1.9, you get an 8 megapixel ultra wide aperture of f2.2, and you also get your 2 megapixel depth sensor aperture of 2.4. I would have preferred a telephoto lens and a higher uh, resolution um, ultra wide as well, but they do do the job pretty well. Uh, no optical image stabilization on here, unfortunately. Uh, you are able to record up to 4K on the front and on the rear. Your front facing camera is going to be a huge 32 megapixel camera and it does have an aperture of 2.3 and you can record 4K on that as well. So I really like it when phones include 4K on the front facing camera. Uh, it tends to be a trend right now that a lot of phones aren't including that, especially on a $1,000 plus phone like OnePlus. Uh, they don't allow 4K on the front facing camera, which is just crazy uh speaker on here is okay it's not the best in the world you only get one bottom firing speaker no stereo speakers which is a bit of a disappointment i'm going to go ahead and play you uh some sample of the uh, speaker that way you guys get an idea of how this sounds but other than that it's pretty good it does a job you get a lot of uh uh, settings on here for your audio settings when you connect Bluetooth headphones or stuff like that. You get music, movie, game, and podcast. So let's go ahead and hear how these speakers sound or how the speaker sounds. All right, so what do you think of that speaker? I think it does a job okay, but you're probably going to want to connect a pair of Bluetooth headphones if you wanted to get a full uh, audio experience on this device. Audio on here is fantastic when you are hooked up to Bluetooth. You get a lot of options for uh, your settings and it just sounds really good. Uh, no issues with connectivity. You get Bluetooth 5.2, Wi-Fi 6, etc. Very nice on the specs. Uh, like I said, no uh, stereo speakers, USB Type-C 2.1, or sorry, 2.0 at the bottom. Battery life on here, guys, fantastic battery life. You get a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, you get 30 watt charging, and you also get the charger in the box, so that's very nice. No wireless charging, unfortunately. Uh, like I said, considering the price point of this, I would have liked to see wireless charging, but no wireless charging on here this is the nebula blue i believe it only came in one color this phone has been absolutely fantastic yes there's no ip68 water resistance or anything plastic build on the back but still a fantastic device at 499 if you're able to get this at that price kudos to you uh, i don't know if i could recommend it at 699 uh, it just depends on what you're looking for if you're a motorella fan then go ahead and get it. But there are other options with a lot more features that you could get out there at $699. At $499, that's a different story. I believe $499 was a pretty good price for this device. Uh, it is a nice phone. Cameras on here have been pretty good. Uh, display definitely got fixed with those display issues and the uh, brightness issues. Everything has been fixed on this last update. Uh, you get Android 11 out of the box, so very nice. The build quality on here is is really good. Uh, the downsides, like it's, I like I said earlier, no micro SD card, single bottom firing speaker, no IP68 water resistance, and no wireless charging. Display, I would have liked to see an uh, AMOLED display instead of an LCD. But there are a lot of downgrades from the one from last year. So consider that the, the Motorola Edge from last year did have a lot more options, no headphone jack on here. And the one from last year did have a headphone jack. So some downgrades, but then also some upgrades, especially in the processing area and the performance area. This thing has been an absolute beast in that department. No issues, no lag, no nothing whatsoever. So with that being said, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did, thumbs down if you didn't. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon that way you get notified on my future videos. And thank you guys for watching. Stay safe out there and I will see you in the next one. Peace.